Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades back with another weekly video. Um, and as usual, we'll start off with the indices. We'll start off with SPY and QQQ. Um, let's take a look at the weekly chart for SPY. Um, so once again, very, very strong trend up. Nothing really changed from last week's analysis. Uh, we just continue to grind um, higher and higher every single week. Overall, it looks very, very bullish. Um, we're definitely in a very strong uh, bull market ever since that, um, ever since November, basically, of last year. We've been in a very, very strong um, uptrend. And uh, although it looks like we are getting extended, the market can still definitely go a lot, lot higher. So, um, you know, overall, really, really good action last week. We had a couple of days of consolidation and then on Thursday we had a breakout and then on Friday we got very nice follow through. So overall SPY looks really bullish and uh, yeah, although we had such a strong uptrend, we we're continuing to move up higher. So um, continue to be bullish until the trend changes, right? And then uh, QQQ, same thing, had a very nice bull flag forming and then a very, very strong breakout on Thursday and then very nice follow through on Friday. So, so same exact thing for SPY and QQQ. Both um, indices are very, very strong and are in very strong bull, or bull, or we are in a very strong bull market right now. Now let's also take a look at IWM. IWM is also starting to look good here. Um, we, are, we finally did break that 205 level, so the weekly chart looks really really good here and the next target should be 213 um, also on IWM we are making new 52 week highs now so really good action there um, but yeah not much else to say uh, the breadth is definitely improving more and more small cap stocks have been participating so that's really good and um, yeah not much to say we're definitely in a bull market and don't fight don't fight the trend until the trend changes right um, let's also take a look at ARKK. ARKK is still a little bit weaker, but it looks ready to break out if it can take out that 51.5 uh, level. So ARKK also very, very bullish, uh, or looking very, very bullish. It looks like it wants to break out of this base and make a big breakout. But yeah, overall, a very good action this week from the market. Um, pretty much everything, uh, or pretty much the entire market is in a very strong uptrend um like the big caps small caps everything's starting to yeah form an uptrend now so overall very very bullish action and um yeah now let's take a look at some individual big cap tech stocks let's start off with apple so apple is one of the weaker ones um apple actually lost that 180 resistance level which uh 180 support level which doesn't look great but Apple did have a nice uh, close on Friday. It did go all the way down to 177.5, but closed near 180. So that is bullish there, but still not the best action on Apple. And it's in a downtrend right now. now until it breaks this uh, trend line, then I would not be looking to go long on Apple. Next up, let's take a look at AMD. AMD had a very strong breakout this week. Um, this one had a nice flag forming over here. And then on Thursday, it had a very strong gap up and then very strong close. Took out that 183 level. And then on Friday, it got very nice follow through. And all this happened on an increase in volume. So overall, very, very good action on AMD. And this looks really, really good on the weekly chart as well. Um, but yeah, very strong breakout. And then, uh, yeah, next we'll take a look at Broadcom. Broadcom also had a very strong breakout this week. Um, it also had a very strong gap up last week, and then this week it pretty much just consolidated all week long. And then on Friday, we had a very strong gap up and very strong close. And uh, that's a really big move for a big cap name, 7.59% uh, on a day. But yeah, really, really strong weekly chart as well. Um, but yeah, this one, I would not be surprised to see this one at 2000. Um, yeah, Broadcom's just an insanely strong name. And then it's also in the, it's also in a very strong group, the semiconductors. But uh, yeah, next up, we'll take a look at Google. 
So Google looks like it's still in a downtrend here. Um, until it breaks this upper trend line, then uh, or until it breaks this trend line, you don't want to be long or long on Google. Um, but yeah, Google doesn't look the best either right now. Next up, we'll take a look at Meta. Meta, on the other hand, very very strong action this week. Had a strong gap up and then it consolidated tightly here, and then on Thursday it started to like touch that resistance level, and then on Friday we gapped above it and very strong close. So overall, Meta looks really really bullish. And this one looks ready to start trending up higher again after a few weeks of consolidation. It's finally breaking out again. So Meta looks really good. Microsoft. Um, so Microsoft just consolidating here. Overall good action. Uh, it filled its gap, and yeah, it's just pretty much co just consolidating for now. So overall, Microsoft looks fine here. Um, and yeah, it has room back up to that 420 level. Netflix, um, Netflix had a very strong breakout here, and then it consolidated, and then formed a little uh, breakout zone here, and then kept up and then consolidated and then on Friday got very nice follow through. So overall Netflix is trending up again. Um, it was also consolidating here for a while and now it's starting to, uh, or now it looks like it's in a very steady uptrend. So overall Netflix looks really, really good here as well. Next up, NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA just keeps going, right? How much to say for the stock? The stock's just insanely strong. I uh, had a very nice breakout on Thursday. It was it was forming a nice flag, and then on Friday got very nice follow through. So overall, Nvidia looks really really strong once again. Um, but yeah, not much else to say for Nvidia. Just an insanely strong stock. And then um, Tesla. So Tesla looks constructive. Doesn't look bad. Um, it is struggling with that two hundred five level. Um, but if it can take that level out, this one does look pretty good. So yeah, if it can, it's starting to like form a little flag here. So if it takes out 205, I would say this one looks pretty good for a move back up to like that 210, 212 area. Um, but overall, Tesla actually looks pretty, looks decent short term. But uh, if you look at the bigger picture, it's still in a very, very uh, clear trend. And until it clears that trend line, then uh, yeah, Tesla's still uh, in a trend. But it does have a lot of room, so potentially if it does rally, you could see a move all the way up to 235. So good short-term potential, though. Uh, and now let's take a look at some individual um, names. Start off with Airbnb. Airbnb had a very nice breakout this week. It did form an inside bar, and then this week it took that out, and a very strong close as well. So, yep, Airbnb is looking pretty good. Touched 160 on Friday. And uh, yeah, not much else to say. Airbnb is finally breaking out of this space, so it looks really good and has a lot of potential higher. Um, I would say first target would be around that 175 level. Yep. Next up, let's take a look at Kava. So Kava is another recent IPO. This one's acting really well. Um, it's making new 52-week highs here, so really good action. Um, let me clear everything actually. So, so it's resistance level, it took it out, and now it's starting to form a little flag here. So, Kava looks really, really good. I like that volume, I like this volume. Overall, Kava is very, very strong. Um, and it's been in a strong uptrend since December. So, this one's another top watch. Coin, this one's uh, this one had a very nice breakout this Monday, all crypto names did. And now it's just flagging here, so this one looks ready to go as well for next week. Um, so this is another A plus setup to watch for next week. Looks really good here. Carvana, um, this one had a very strong gap up, and it got follow through this week. Uh, had a nice breakout on Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday just consolidated, and on Friday it looks like it's reconfirming higher here. So overall, it looks really really good. And this is definitely one that you want to keep your eye on. Really nice weekly chart as well. <clears throat> Next up, let's take a look at JMIA. This one is like the Amazon of uh, Africa. So 
this one has a lot of potential, really good volume, um, had a nice flag here, and then had a massive, massive breakout on big volume, and looks pretty good on the weekly chart as well, definitely breaking that downtrend, so this is definitely another name uh, you want to keep your eye on, lots of potential, this one's a fast mover, so yeah, this is another good name to watch, LLY, um, this is another name that has been in a steady uptrend all year long. Insane rally from uh, uh, 2021. And this one just keeps going higher and higher. Uh, but yeah, right now it's just consolidating here. Uh, it had a nice breakout on Friday. But it is just consolidating between these two levels. So it looks to be taking out that 780 level. But let's see uh, what happens next week. Very strong uh, gap up on Friday and go uh, so yeah overall looks really really good it did form like a downtrend line here and then on Friday gapped up and had a very strong close so this one looks like it has uh, room to hit 800 next week next up let's take a look at Palantir Palantir is another one that looks pretty decent here um, this one was viable as yeah, this one was viable on Tuesday as it got through that 24 level. And then, yeah, it pretty much just uh, went all the way up to 25, 25.5 again, which was previous resistance and then rejected. But this one looks pretty good. And I want to see if it can form some sort of flag here. And really, really nice weekly chart Palantir as well. Um, next target would be around that 27.5 level. So this is another one that you definitely want to keep your eye on. Huge volume. Uh, yeah, this one's definitely a name that institutions like as well. And then we'll also take a look at SMCI. So as I said before, semiconductors have been very strong. And uh, SMCI had uh, a pretty quiet week uh, compared to like how it used to for the last couple of weeks. Pretty quiet week. But it did have a very strong gap up, or it is gapping up very strong Friday after hours because it is going to be included in the S&P. So, um, yeah, this one it, <clears throat> this one could gap and go on Monday. So definitely keep an eye out on this one as well. And then last but not least, TSM. This is another, another semiconductor name. And this one also had a very strong breakout on Friday. Had a very clear resistance level at that 131 level, and then it pretty much gapped on Friday and then took that out and then made new 52 week highs, but not the best close. But um, so yeah, definitely some resistance around that 135 level, but this one still looks really, really good, and it's another top watch for me. Um, also in a very strong uptrend, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. Uh, semiconductors are definitely the names that you want to be paying attention to. They are the strongest name or strongest sector right now. And then crypto would also be another theme to focus on and then software as well. And uh, yeah, also, if you guys are interested in one on one mentoring, feel free to DM me on Discord. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for this weekend. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.